We both have chocolate. We're obsessed by it. We're basically just force feeding each other constantly. Yeah. Could be, could be a big change. Could be no change. Okay. Could be laughed out of there. <laughs> A chalk and cheese, Burton Ernie, or something like that. I think that's Completely probably what we're like different. as a partnership. Yeah. yeah, we complement each other quite well, I'd say. And contrast. Yeah, mm, of course. Hello, dragons. My name is Morag, and this is Paz. We're the founders of Bad Brownie. We make and sell a range of gourmet flavoured chocolate brownies. We're here today to ask you for an investment of £60,000 in return for 15% of our company. When we started just over a year and a half ago, we were baking out of a tiny kitchen and the oven was so basic, it had one shelf that actually worked. Um, we were baking a couple of hundred brownies a week and we took them in my battered old Nissan Micra to the markets and sold them. Today, we have our own production unit in South East London, uh, which we designed and had built to our specifications. <clears throat> we bake between two and 5,000 brownies a week nowadays, and we sell these direct to consumers at a number of high-end food markets around London. Morag and I are complete foodies. We've done over 100 flavours since we started. Some of them include our best-selling salted caramel. We also have a bacon and maple syrup brownie. Does work, I promise you. Our turnover to date is uh, in excess of 300,000. With investment in the next 12 months, we project to turn over in excess of 800,000. We would use your investment, together with our own capital, to open our first shop in central London. Paz mentioned that we are foodies, but we're also massive feeders. And uh, we'd like to start on that journey with you by offering you some samples of our brownies. Sweet treats are the offering from Paz Sama and Moraga Kanga, who are seeking £60,000 in return for a 15% share in their brownie business. Mmm, really good brownies. Paz and Morag's samples have given cereal restaurateur Sarah Willingham an appetite to find out more. What makes them so good? They're bad. <laughs> yeah, well, what makes them taste so good? Uh, we don't hold back on anything, anything at all. So they're absolutely packed full of really good dark chocolate, loads of butter, yeah. and loads of any ingredient that makes the flavours really, really stand out. It's interesting that you're talking about wanting to open a shop. Um, just sort of paint a picture of this store, because this is where, where you want to spend the money. OK, so it would be in central London, sort of Soho, Covent Garden, sort of an area um, where there are other stores that sell sort of single product. Who's the creative chef here? We have hired a creative chef. We no longer bake the brownies okay, okay, anymore. OK, so you guys just run the business? Most recently, yes. And have you taken a salary out of this? We take 15,000 each, each at the moment, yeah. Uh, are, you, are you partners? No. You're not? <laughs> OK. So 15,000 each, and you can live off that, can you? Uh, yes. We each have very supportive partners, but yes, yeah. we do. And I must say, I've never eaten brands like this. So there's a big tick there, 10 out of 10. But your retail model mm -hmm. at the moment is not going to work. Mm -hmm. But you're going to need a lot more than 60,000 a lot more, you know, and th that's what worries me that, you know, you'll open a shop, you'll start making losses to make a profit and then you'll want more money, you know? So, I don't know, I have to think about this. Brownie points for their product. But Paz and Morag's plans to set up shop in one of London's priciest postcodes is fast becoming a sticking point in the den. I'd be amazed if you got a site in Soho or Covent Garden without paying a significant premium for it. So the £60,000 is in addition to our, uh, our own capital that we all have as well. So we'll be putting some of our own money into it, of course. For this site, rent, yeah. staff costs, 
That is a lot of brownies you're going to have to sell. So how many are you planning on selling? 20,000 turnover, turnover per month. And what's your gross profit on that? It runs at approximately 50%. Why is this so expensive to make? So the ingredient cost itself is approximately 42 pence per £3.50 brownie. OK, and then what else goes into that? Uh, packaging we allow for approximately 10 pence per brownie. What would the labour element of this be? So I'm talking 1,500 plus 100 is uh, 5,000 times 4, 20, let's say 15,000 brownies, 40 pence. So 40 pence. So you've got ingredients, you've got packaging and you've got labour. That adds up to 92p out of £3.50. And you were saying before, your gross margin is 50%, so that's £1.70. You're about to torpedo what is a lovely business because, because you're saying that your gross margin is... Your gross margin is horrendous. Paz and Morag are in danger of sinking as Nick Jenkins blows a hole in their numbers. Sarah Willingham, the dragon with high street eatery expertise, has heard enough. I mean, I've opened so many central London sites. Yes. But with costs, you will not make any money on five grand a week net turnover. It's impossible. The economics of it don't work. I, I can't invest and I'm afraid I'm out. OK, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. The thought of opening a shop is, is by far the wrong thing to even consider doing. But you can continue to make it work in the markets and you can continue to make it work by potentially renting space within other key delicatessens. But it's not an investment where I think I could even make a, a small return, let alone a sizeable one. So I won't be investing and I'm out. Has and Morag's plans to branch into retail are proving a tough sell as Peter Jones joined Sarah Willingham in walking away from the deal. Are Deborah Meaden or Nick Jenkins prepared to turn their vision into a reality? Guys, I actually, um, I want to be able to eat those fudge brownies, so I am desperate for you to succeed. Unfortunately, I do think the retail is the wrong route to go down. They're lovely, but as an investment, I, I don't get it, so I'm afraid I'm out. I think it will be very difficult to turn this into a retail concept. Um, by the time you've added on the rent and the manager's cost and the, and the staff, that's an incredibly difficult business to, to be in. And so uh, I look forward to eating more of it, but I'm, but I'm afraid I can't invest. I'm out. Four dragons are now out. With over 40 years retail experience to his name, is Tuka Suleiman poised to pull down the shutters on Paz and Morag's pitch. The, the, the real question for me is, um, how much money are you guys going to put in? To the retail? Yeah. Uh, approximately 25,000. And how much cash have you got in the business? Uh, you mean waiting in the bank account? Or, yeah. Uh, it's about 35 30... at the moment. You've got 35. We have assets of about 40, uh, sorry, 25,000 at the moment as well. How much debt have you got? None. None. I can envisage seeing this in a thousand square foot shop where you've got a 50 flavour sitting there and you've got a kitchen in the back making them and people come to you, right, because you are the brownie in London. So do I want to have that journey with you? I'm going to make you an offer. I'll give you all the money, but I want 35% of the business. Okay. Would you mind if we have a quick chat? Thank you. Thank you. A surprising development as Tuka Suleiman goes against the perceived wisdom of the den. What do we do now? 35%. Oh, Paz is just so much. He's prepared to bankroll Paz and Morag's assault on the high street but he wants 20% more equity
than the pair were originally looking to give away. Uh, thank you so much for your offer. Um, it is much higher than, a percentage than we had wanted to give and um, goodness, I, I almost don't have the nerve to ask, but um, is there any opportunity for you to reduce that to 30%? It was the highest that we would are prepared to give away. Okay, guys, I don't want to take away your baby, you know? I'll give you two good time and I'll go to 30%. Amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Great. Thank you so much. Well done, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll do something with us. Great. Lovely. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Great. Thank you so much. Sticking to their guns over their high street shop concept has paid off for Morag and Paz. Did that just happen? <laughs> yes. So surreal. <clears throat> so That's surreal. Real. They leave the den with the only dragon persuaded to share their vision and a crucial £60,000 of his cash. I wasn't expecting an offer from him at all. Took a time. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> Took a time. It's amazing. <laughs> so excited. Amazing.